Okay, so now I'm going to introduce you to basic curl movements. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start out with the dumbbell curl. I have two dumbbells right here. And again, going off of all the tips that I recommended in the bicep intro video, we want to make sure that we have the point of rotation as our elbow. So I'm going to turn the weights out like this. I'm going to turn my knuckles up towards the ceiling a little bit. I'm going to keep my elbow as the point of rotation. I'm going to keep that chin up. I'm going to exhale up like I'm winding up that string. I'm going to inhale down. And remember, I'm always going to lift the weight twice as fast as I lower it. So I'm going to lift to the count of one, two, three, and I want to lower one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm always lifting the weight twice as slow or twice as fast as I lower it. So the positive or lifting portion of the movement is always going to be twice as fast as the lowering portion of the movement. Now, we can go ahead and, and increase the difficulty of this by increasing the weight and doing it one arm at a time, okay? So what this does is a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do it two arms at a time and then the minute that it gets really, really heavy, say I'm trying to hit like, you know, maybe 12 reps and I'm at eight and it gets really, really hard. Well, now I'll just alternate one arm at a time. So but it's the same exact range of motion, exhaling up and inhaling down. Now, we can also do this with a straight bar. We can add weight to a straight bar. And again, we want about a shoulder width grip, okay? We want to turn those knuckles up like this. We want to keep those elbows as the point of rotation. I'm going to keep that chin up. I'm going to exhale up and inhale down just like I had that string and I'm winding it up to my shoulder. So again, inhale down. Exhale up a lot faster. That's a straight bar curl. Now, the next variation of a curl is a hammer curl. So it's very similar to what I just showed you, except now you're using this with the dumbbells. Except now you are going to keep the elbows or the wrist to your side, and you're going to use a range of motion just like you have a hammer in your hand, like this. So you're going to exhale up and inhale down. I'll turn to the side for you. Again, exhale up and inhale down. It's the same exact philosophy with the hammer curl. Remember, we want to make sure that we got that string attached from our wrist to our shoulder and we're just winding it up. Now, you can do both the dumbbell curl, um, the alternating dumbbell curl, the hammer curl, or the alternating hammer curl seated as well. So it's just a matter of sitting down. Now, I recommend that you stand when you do it because that's going to help build your core. It's going to strengthen your lower back. But what I also find is that if I want to go heavier and I just want to isolate my biceps and, I, and maybe I want to take stress off my lower back, doing these while seated on a bench can be very beneficial. So there's an introduction to the basic curl movements.